you for coming to uh, be an honor students. I think you have already passed your B8 and you wrote another controversial critical module called the Educator's Assessor. How many did write that one? None. I'm coming to school now because you are not assessing properly. <laughs> Right. One of the most important things that which I think you should, I think most of you are educators in different schools, please make sure that you are communicating with your school principal. I'm, I'm talking to you about that because I've been a school principal and teachers sometimes don't communicate that they are writing the what? The examination. So it's important for you to go to the principal's office. I'm writing exam together with what? with your um, exam timetable, isn't it? Yes. And you fill in the what? The leaf forms. Don't just be sick while you are not sick. Uh, complete the leaf form properly. Remember some of this time when you are writing your own exam, learners also they are writing their own exam. And, and you are supposed to be invigilating. And you are nowhere to be found by the time of invigilating. And now you are saying that me, I was writing an exam. Uh, please, so we don't do such things. We are professionals, isn't it? Yes. Right. So when you go to your exam, please make sure that you have your ID copy. We don't want you to be returned while you have uh, prepared the whole year and you have all the knowledge and the skills to write and pass your multiple choice exam. And now you arrive there, you don't have a timetable. Uh, they say, no, go back, you, you are not supposed to be writing. Another most important thing is the venue where you're supposed to write what? The exam. Uh, don't decide now all of a sudden because uh, you, are, you are choosing. You have seen somebody going to another exam, you decide to go to that other one because your colleague is writing at the, and you are studying together. You say, no, let us go. I want to sit next to you. I can remember everything. <laughs> So you, you, will, you will be returned back home and says, you, you are supposed to be writing at Pretoria Showground. Please go back there. So those are some of the technicalities. I hope Prof. Makanoshi highlighted even yesterday uh, some of the important things that which you, we need to take uh, heed of. Okay. The, the, the technician is eh? coming on. And he's still saying it's coming all right. I'm going to share with you some of the few uh, important aspects. Although you are honors students, please, when you are preparing for your examination, kindly take into consideration. Uh, mathematicians are here. Prof. I saw uh, sitting at the back there. Uh, teams is very much important. It's the same as Bloom's taxonomy when you are preparing for what? for your examination. I don't see people nodding, I don't see mathematician today. <laughs> right. So uh, it is one of the important things that which when you are talking of the uh, six cognitive levels in the Bloom's taxonomy, in mathematics we speak about what? Tips. So it's, how does he know? Uh, assessment covers everything. So that's how we know this stuff. I'm going to highlight a few things with regard to uh, questioning that which you, are, you may come across after preparing for the examination. You have gone through the previous examination question papers, gone through the tutorial letters, gone through the textbook. Here you are now, you are facing with question one in the exam. Often, you might find that the questioning in almost every question paper, it starts from the low order questioning. And that's where you are going to find yourself being required to remember what you have been what? Studying. You are going to be asked questions that which, if I may ask you similar questions like, who is the first democratically elected president in South Africa? You will be able to know, isn't it? Yes. Imagine somebody says Robert Mugabe. 
Well, that answer is our former, I'm sorry to mention the, our former, I just like him. Imagine somebody is giving that answer. Will that be correct? No. That's why we say you must remember what you have learned. It could be from the textbook, it could be from the newspaper, it could be from any different source. But that answer, it must be that answer. It, there is no other answer other than that. You can't start to be creative. One plus one is two. You can't say, no, the pastor at the church yesterday was preaching powerfully. He says one plus one is one. Uh, because he's talking about what? Marriage. So uh, that is the other thing. You, you are now going to get it wrong because now we are giving the correct answer here. So that's why we say you need to remember. Remember based on what? The module that which you are studying. Please contextualize when you are answering your what? Your questions. The question that which you might be thinking in life orientation is the correct answer. Because it's life orientation, it could not be the correct answer in life sciences where they are testing things, isn't it? So it means you must be knowing that I'm writing life sciences and I have studied according to this module. Therefore, it's not general knowledge that which I'm going to give here. That's why we say it's the first level of law order questioning, but it requires you to have completed. I think we have had Prof, uh, while we are still up there, she was telling you that go through that thick book and you must have gone through that thick book and you have the knowledge. In assessment, I will just give you some of the important uh, question naming in the verbs that which we use here. Uh, name four types of assessment. Those who are doing caps, they say, oh, types of assessment. Please, you can't tell me another type of assessment which is not in the caps document, isn't it? You must have summative assessment. Then you can't have say, uh, I think I must come up with Solomon assessment. Uh, it uh, makes sense. It will make sense to you, but in the what? In the marking, it will mark you wrong because it's not in the textbook. If I say list four characters uh, uh, in the book of Macbeth, <laughs> I want the characters that which are in the book of Macbeth. Even if Mandela is so popular, he is not the character in the Macbeth book. So general knowledge doesn't apply in this level of ordering of, of questions. Uh, uh, so these are some of the things. What is the name of the first uh, democratic elected uh, president? I've just given you that. Indicate two benefits of small business enterprise in township area. Oh, it's economics, isn't it? Huh? Then you can come up with, with historical knowledge in the economics. They require economically understanding of that module. So in English, they may ask you to quote a phrase. Please, if you are quoting a phrase from John Donne, death be not proud, poem. <laughs> Don't come up with your own poem. You are quoting from what? John Donne's poem. So quote it from like that is the important part that which will say, please, at honest level, we are not expecting you to just mention any things from the space. <laughs> Referencing is required. You must be able to say, I refer to this, I have acquired this type of, of knowledge. So these are some of the verbs that which you are going to find in the law of order, where you just have to what? To remember. Another one will be required you to say, Tabulate. Tabulate. Also, it requires you to what? To have facts. To remember something. You must be remembering what you have learned. You can't just come up. Let me give you one example. Tabulate the difference between the plant and an animal cell. Can you give me the difference between Pretoria and Johannesburg? No, you must be knowing what is a plant cell and what is an animal cell. And you understand what is an animal cell, you understand what is a plant cell. Therefore, you will be able to give 
So it is important for you to, to, to have gone through that. Another one, just an example. From the given words in column A, select the corresponding phrases in column B. You might be given such kind of questions. These are still low order type of questions that you may find. Maybe after writing your MCQ, then you are coming to write this type of questions. And you must be able to say, oh, I remember this phrase is related to this word. You are not going to guess. Huh? Uh, this one, I think it could be this one. Uh, um, you will get it wrong and you fail. Classify the following organisms as non-living organism and living organism. Life sciences, isn't it? Imagine. You say, uh, non-living organism, tree. Is it true? No, it's not true. Non-living organism, a tree. I go, a tree is alive. We will make you wrong. Whether you can prove it somehow, but this is not according to the life sciences that which you are studying. So please have the understanding. Arrange the following synoptic weather charts according to the seasons of the year. You hear that this is geography, isn't it? So if I give you another one that which says now we have got a warm front and another weather chart which has got a cold front. And all of a sudden the one which is cold front and the low temperatures, you say it's summer season. Honestly speaking, who oh, might be wrong says this one doesn't understand what is it that which we have in the synoptic weather charts with regard to the seasons. The one which, is a, which has got a warm front and high temperatures should be classified as what? A summer season. So these are some of the things that which we can ask uh, under low order questioning, which requires you to have knowledge and you must understand what is it that which you are, you are writing about. Imagine we say, uh, compare the characteristics of Brutus and Caesar. Uh, then you hear that, uh, do I know the characteristics of what? Of Brutus. It's English, isn't it? Mm -hmm. William Shakespeare. Uh, do I know the characteristics of what? Of Caesar. Because you have no, you didn't read. All of a sudden, he says, uh, whom can I write about? Tabun Beki? And Tutu. You will mark you wrong. Because these are not related. So knowledge is a very important thing as you come into the examination room. And I'm still giving you only under remembering and understanding the first two law orders questioning in the Bloom's Dictionary. Here are some of the questions that which will demand you to have acquired enough knowledge. Define. Mm. Define means you must define with what? Contextualization. Mm? You must contextualize when you define. Although we are not going to say rewrite the textbook, uh -huh. like what Prof. Mahalo should always say, don't rewrite the textbook as it is. You must have acquired the knowledge for you to be able to do what? To define that particular term. Define the following words. These are the words that which are found in your module. Eh? Andragogy, theory. If you are to define andragogy theory, please, don't define it as what? Learner-centered approach. Oh, see that I know. I... This, this person doesn't know a theory, difference between the what? The theory. This one doesn't know about the what? The paradigms. Eh? You can see, but it means you must have knowledge and you must have the understanding of that. Describe the state of women abusing in South Africa. All of a sudden, you start to tell us, um, I've read in the newspaper, women abuse uh, is, is very high. No, the psychology, uh, under life orientation, they have given you a textbook. What is women abuse? They have described it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you need to contextualize them. <coughs> Bring the knowledge that which you have acquired while you were studying into the what? Into the reality of the examination. 
don't just give us information from nowhere. And you say, no, this, this I think it is, 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 is relevant. Clarify the meaning of words. In English, we often use that. And they give you a word which has got what? Which we classify as a pun. The word which has got two different meanings, isn't it? Yes. So you need to, you can't just come up with your, another word that which is related to, you must go back to the module that which you are writing. If you are writing the module which is assessment, <laughs> I, I laughed at one of the students who was writing about assessment. No, assessment in engineering, uh, it means this, I said, thank God you are an engineer. Here I'm talking about a teacher inside the classroom who's using the CAPS document. Do you see now? So the knowledge that which the student has with regard to assessment in engineering of the best pipe <laughs> is a different thing with regard to what to CAPS document inside the classroom. What are you assessing? Is it assessment for learning? Assessment as learning? This is the knowledge that which I need. So you need to, learn to be able to what? To get that meaning of the word that which is relevant. Oh. Another one that which I have given, which is the last one, is uh, I have given, uh, that is far behind. In mathematics, they say prove an angle A is equal to angle J. <laughs> Can you see? It's in mathematics. How do you start proving when you don't know? When we are dealing with theorems of Pythagoras, these are the rules. Huh? Because mathematics, it has got rules that which you must apply. You can't just start proving that angle A is equal to what? Angle B. You need to apply some certain rules. So knowledge is required. And this all that which I'm sharing with you colleagues, it is about remembering and understanding. These are low order questions. So imagine you don't have the basics of the law order questions. By the time we say apply, how are you going to apply the knowledge that you don't have? So you need to sit down and prepare thoroughly for your examination. Start the textbook, relevant textbook, I'm, I'm quoting, relevant textbook that which was, was prescribed to say, this is the textbook that you must use. You have been given the tutorial letter 501 if it is there. Use that tutorial letter 501. Refer to the tutorial letter 5, I mean 101 that which you have been given. Visit my UNISA so that you can be able to refer. Oh, the lecturer was telling me about this, was making us aware of this. I like the, the concept of the, of the WhatsApp in this case, but if it doesn't have the guidance, it is another thing because you can easily mislead each other way. So low order questions, colleagues, these are the things that which I think um, are very important to understand. Acquire the knowledge, understand is it, what is it that which you are going to write about, so that by the time you write the exam, you can answer question one, if it is only question one in your question paper. By the time they said we are going to apply in question two, now you can apply the knowledge that which you, you have acquired. Colleagues, I don't want to waste a lot of time, but this is the little knowledge of remembering and understanding. In what? In the law order questioning, according to the Bloom's taxonomy. It applies also to teams for those who are doing mathematics. I thank you. Thank you.